Ghost Call. The Prayer Rug of Nana Saib. A story of freelance diplomacy, intrigue, and mystery in the Far East. Having followed the mysterious Ram Das to India in quest of the stolen prayer rug, Casey and his expedition approached the forbidden city of Kundra in the little-known Himalaya mountains of Nepal. Casey's bearers desert as they near the forbidden city, and when he and Ali decide to continue the chase without them, Dola Rao, the head shikari, mysteriously vanishes. Casey and Ali are captured by Nepalese hillmen and confined in a dungeon which they believe to be actually in the Forbidden City. Through a vent in the wall, they overhear Ramdas plotting against the life of Lakshmini, the Rani of Kundra. <laughs> and Ramdas is the trusted advisor of this Rani, eh? Yeah? <laughs> so I understood, Kasi, from his followers who captured me in Cairo. Huh? Also, he is the high priest of Kundra plotting to murder his Rani and take the throne himself. And all on account of whatever the chart in that prayer rug means. Oh, if I could see her, tell her what's in the wind. Oh, well, our friend Ram Das. Salams, me saib, and so we meet again. Salam. And we meet in your own pigsty this time, Bahadur. Uh, remain there by the door with the light, Azam. Does the Saib think himself wise to have followed me thus far? Uh, no Christian and few others have entered Kundra and left it alive. So I understand. And yet the Saib came? Obviously, since I'm here. And my good friend Ali also. Uh, you had been wiser, Ali, had you accepted my hundred piaster for the rug. It may be, Bahadur, that you speak truth. However, as the Saib said... We are here. Which is evidence of the fact that my men left behind to see that you were detained failed to carry out my orders. Yeah, you should have met me in Kathmandu yourself, Ramdas. You might have done better than your cobra. Or rather, you should have finished the job in Cairo when you had the opportunity. It's just possible you may not have another. Perhaps not. However, we shall see. I am here, Ramdas. Dolarao. <laughs> You are surprised, Ali, my friend. Enter Dolarao. Your orders, Garuda. Form an escort and conduct these two to the council chamber. Place them before the Rani. The chosen one awaits them. Hearing and obeying, Garuda. Salam, Saib. We shall meet again presently. I precede you to the council chamber. Yeah. Well, Dolorao, I suppose we can thank you for leading us into this little trap. <laughs> <laughs> Did not the Saib express a wish to see Kundra and offer 500 pounds for the privilege? The snake goes crookedly, yet it arrives straight within its own hole. But would you, friend Ali? One must do one's duty. The Saib acted unwisely in engaging me to take charge of his little, uh, hunting expedition. Yeah. And were you following instructions when you cautioned me to walk softly? It is possible that Dola Rao stepped slightly beyond his duty on that morning, Saib. But we must not keep Lakshmini, the chosen one, waiting. If the Saib and Ali will follow me... Surrounded by armed guards, Casey and Ali cross an inner court... They ascend a broad flight of stone steps to pause before a heavily studded door. As the huge door swings slowly open, Dola Rao, Casey, and Ali enter a large hall brilliantly lighted by many small, oddly shaped oil lamps in wall niches. The chamber is filled with black-veiled, silent men. At the far end of the room, on a low dais, stands a great stone bench covered with skins and cushions. A slim, veiled figure reclines among the cushions. Large, dark eyes gaze steadily at Casey from above a black yashmak. The eyes hold a look of deep interest. Stretched at full length on the bench beside this figure lies a pet cheetah, or hunting leopard. Ram Dass, surrounded by his priests, stands beside the bench. The dark eyes of the Rani stare into Casey's for many silent moments. Presently she lifts a slim hand in a gesture to Ram Dass. Lakshmini, chosen of the gods, this is he of whom I spoke. The other is his servant. 
The rug was found in the sahib's possession, and no doubt he knows its secret. Else why should he attempt to seek out and enter the forbidden city of Kondra? Does the sahib know the secret of the rug? No, Rani, I do not. Then why does he seek to enter Kondra? To regain that which was stolen from me. You come from Kathmandu, sahib? From a greater distance, Lakshmini. I come from Cairo in Egypt. It is many days' travel from Kathmandu. The sahib comes a great distance to meet death. The sahib intimates that the rug was stolen from him in Cairo. Did you not tell me, Ramdas, that you went no further than Kathmandu, where you regained possession of the rug? It is as I told you, Lakshmini. The rug was sent to me from one in Cairo, who led me to believe that he had paid 2,200 piaster for it. And you say, Sai, the rug was stolen from you in Cairo. Stolen and brought to your city. By whom? By your trusted advisor, the high priest Ram Dass, whose offer of 2,200 piastres I refused. The Christian lies, chosen one. Lakshmini knows I went no further than Kathmandu. If the one who sent me the rug stole it, I am unaware of the fact. However, the rug is not that of the Rani's illustrious grandfather, Nana Sahib. So you said, Ramdas. Where is this rug, the one sent to you? Not being the original prayer rug of Nana Sahib, I left it in Kathmandu to be sold to the first credulous Christian who offered to purchase it. And so, Sahib, the truth. Why have you come to Kundra? Hmm. Did we come of our own free will, Rani? Were we not brought here as prisoners? The Christian evades the truth, chosen one. Put him to the test, the ordeal of the cobra. The ordeal of the cobra. Yes, he shall be put to the test. We shall know presently, Saib, if you speak truth. Prepare the Saib for the ordeal, Ramdas. What now, Kasi? Watch and wait. Take things as they come. We'll have to play Ram Dass game, whatever it is, to beat him. Just stand fast, Ali, and take it. Aye, Habib. But see, that basket. And sliding out of it, a five-foot cobra. By Allah, thou art doomed, friend of my heart. Steady, Ali. Be perfectly quiet and keep away from me. If the serpent strikes, then... Well, goodbye. If it doesn't... Say you know, High Priest, this neck ignores the stranger. By the red beard of Muhammad, thou art indeed shielded by the hand of Allah, Kasi. By Rama, never has the ordeal of the cobra been so well tested. It is a trick, Lakshmini. The cobra was charmed. We must try again. That is not the law, Ramdas. Nay, the Saib has proven that he spoke truth. What say you, Dolorau? The Saib has withstood the test. He may not undergo the test a second time. Yet for entering the forbidden city of Kundran, Bidden, both he and his companion must die. That is also the law. Call for the sacred bowl, chosen one. Judgment must be passed. No Christian has ever set foot in Kundra. It is forbidden by our laws and customs. Therefore the Saib must die. Our laws must be upheld. And Muhammad Ali, my companion? He also dies. Call for the sacred bowl, chosen one. And me the sacred bowl. Thus, Lakshmini, chosen of the gods, do I offer thee the golden chalice of life and death. Drink and pass thy judgment. That I may rightly judge. And pass due sentence upon those who have broken our laws. I pray the gods of my fathers, the gods of life and death, to hear me. I drink. Lakshmini. In my country it is customary to grant the last wish of a condemned man. I beg the chosen one to observe that practice now before she drinks. The Christian's request is ill-chosen. He is in Kundra, where no such custom prevails. There can be no harm in your request, Ramdas. 
<laughs> a doomed man should be granted his last wish. Speak, Sai. In America, a far country, I'm considered something of an adept at reading the future. I ask permission to forecast that of Lakshmini. Speak, Sai. What do you see? I see death. Death to Lakshmini within the hour. Silence. Continue, Saib. I also see how death may be averted. No, speak, Saib. Speak. I'll bargain with you, Lakshmini. My life and that of my companion for yours. A trick, chosen one. A trick to delay thy judgment. Did the gods take them away and proceed with the ceremonial cup? It was foretold when I was a child that my life would be spared through the efforts of a Christian Saib. Prove thy forecast, Saib, and thy life shall be spared. And the law, chosen one? I, Lakshmini, Rani of Kundra, am the law. What say you, Dolorau? Thou art the law. When what say you, men of Kundra? Ah, Lakshmini, thou art the law. And but, chosen one, the priest and high priest no, of the temple. No, thy peace, Randa. Thou hast heard, Saib. Prove thy forecast. And your lives shall be spared. Then, Lakshmini, let the cheetah there beside you drink from the sacred bowl. It shall be as the Saib desires. See, Kasi, the animal drinks. Watch. But no, yeah. he lies down again peacefully. <laughs> Ram Das accomplice has failed to carry out the orders of his master. <sighs> Then, Ali, this little hocus-pocus of mine has failed, and we're done for. 